everybody, E here. Welcome back to another spoiler discussion. Sorry it's so dark in here, I can't figure out the lights today, so maybe this is going to be more of a podcast than it will be a video. Um, it might be just because I'm so bright that the, the camera can't figure it out. But uh, sit back and relax, we're going to talk about spoilers for Richard Lehman, no, Richard Bachman. <laughs> Richard Bachman's book, Blaze, which is, of course, Stephen King's pseudonym. Uh, not Blaze, but Richard Bachman. Sorry, y'all. I'm tired. I'm trying to get these videos done before I go on vacation. And this is the ninth video of the day because I have some surprise videos for you. And these books are going to be pop... These books... These videos are going to be popping up every Thursday while I'm gone. So you'll have at least a video on Thursday. Um, so anyways, the uh, th this book was a lot of fun for me and I've, I've already talked about in the spoiler discussion not spoiler discussion in the uh, book review and in the Thursday theorist why I like this book um, it very vaguely and but I went into more detail about why I didn't like it now I'm gonna go to, to into more detail about the, uh, the the spoilers as far as what I didn't like and what I did like uh, the didn't like I'm gonna go ahead and get out of the way which is there's some plot can there's some very very convenient things going on here uh, especially with the uh, the kidnapping of the kid, the uh, how the he he gets out of it. He had a problem getting into it, but he got out with a baby in hand, uh, leaving the baby alone. Yes, there's some uh, the baby gets hurt and whatnot. There was just there was a whole lot of convenience, um, especially with uh, the there's a scene where the spoiler alert. It's a spoiler discussion. I'm just going to go and say it. There's a scene in there where uh, the I can't remember the guy's name, but uh, it's they're they're running their first gag is what they call it. George and Blaze are, and it drops his wallet. Nobody sees the guy drop his wallet. Nobody sees Blaze looking at him. Uh, nobody sees Blaze watching the guy. Uh, the guy picks up Blaze's wallet. Even though he's picking up a wallet and looking around, he doesn't see Blaze watching him, which was weird to me. Um, and then the whole time that uh, he's taught, they're arguing, the guy barely defends himself um, he, at all. Uh, the, he just gives one line like, hey, I found it on the floor, and that's all he ever said. I had some issues with that whole scene. It felt like uh, Stephen King was just trying to get through that part uh as quickly as possible, um, whereas he went into so much great detail with other things, that one kind of stuck out like a sore thumb. I'm not saying things like that don't actually happen, or that that wouldn't work, it just seemed a little too convenient. There were other conveniences throughout the book that bothered me, uh, they are uh, completely slipping in my mind right now, probably think about them while I'm talking about the other stuff, but th the stuff that I liked is uh, the whole deal with how Blaze uh, became became like he was the dent in his forehead the way his father threw him down the stairs that part uh the ann part the girl that he has sex with who has the baby who grows up to be uh that go to harvard i think it is i really love that whole section um that was very well done all the flashback stuffs i, I all flashback stuff i loved um some things in the while it was happening is i really enjoyed uh, Blaze and Joe's relationship, him and the baby, I really enjoyed that. Uh, there was a section where I, I was like, you're not supposed to feed a baby, uh, car well, evaporated milk, are you? I, 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 I had to ask my wife, my wife was like, no, you're not. Um, I have two kids, of course, we never gave them evaporated milk. But uh, it was one of those things that seemed, it, you know, was it the character? I, I thought it was funny because, you know, of course the character is going to do something like that. You know, canned milk or, or whatever. He's going to try that out. Um, but he also goes to a baby supply store. So, I mean, can you give a baby uh, evaporated milk? Or maybe a sweet and condensed milk. Either, either way, uh, I thought that was, that was strange or, or funny. Um, there's the, the whole scene um, with... Uh, with Blaze and what's his friend John uh, Cheltsman, I think is the way you pronounce it. That whole section was fantastic. Um, I think I even teared up uh, at the uh, at when he mentioned John dying of uh, what, rheumatic fever. I think it was later on. But uh, John was a favorite character of mine. I even came to like George just a little bit. George seemed like that that guy that had never gotten 
uh, around, you know, had never gotten up in life, and he was just utterly miserable, but also, you know, he had that friendship with Blaze, and maybe I was reading too much into it. George might just be an utter douchebag in the book, but I, I felt a little more uh, forgiving of him this time around, where, as the first time, he, he reminded me of my father, and I absolutely hated the character because I, I didn't have a good relationship with my father. Um, but in, in this one, the, there seemed to be a lot more... Uh, the politics in this book are interesting also because the 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 bad guys, as it were, um, Blaze and uh, blah, 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 and George. I keep wanting to call him Henry. I don't know why. Um, J George and Blaze, those two, they're, they're Democrats, and I guess they're always. Well, George is always complaining about Republicans. So I, I thought that was funny because this was this was written back when King's politics were much different. Um, another thing that I enjoyed about the book is the way it ends. It does have a happy ending, kinda. I, in the same way that Insomnia has a happy ending, you have your main character die, but it's for a good cause. Um, I really honestly thought, both times, I don't, I don't know how in the world that's possible, both times I expected Joe to die. Um, I, I kept expecting, uh, I remember the first time reading it, knowing, absolutely knowing, that he was going to get smothered or crushed to Blaze's chest, and he, he, he never did. It came close when he wrapped him up in the blanket. I was like, yep, there he is, there it is, he's going he's gonna to die. But, uh, no, he let, he, let the, he let the kid live this time. So I was, I was taken aback by that. It's kind of like, uh, if you only write sad endings where everybody dies, it, the happy ending is a surprise, that kind of deal. I'm telling on myself because... <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, but with with this book, I I kind of understand where people are coming from with all the hate for this book because you know it's not horror; it's it's barely even suspense. Uh, even though those last hundred pages are amazing, um, and I couldn't stop reading. The whole plan when I read this book was thirty pages a day. That went right out the window once I got to the final one hundred pages. I think I did the final 120 in the last day, but it was the last 100 pages that, uh, that I could not stop reading. It is so hot out here, y'all. Sorry, I know I'm, I'm wiping and touching my face a lot, but it is so hot out here. Um, I think it's, uh, it's 109 heat index right now, which is funny. It looks dark in here, but it's, <laughs> it's pure daylight. I think it's just because I have it set, the camera set to auto, and I'm so bright that it's darkening everything. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, so that's pretty much all I really have to talk about as far as the spoiler discussion is concerned. I, I really liked this book. Um, if you didn't like this book, give me details on why you didn't like the book. Uh, maybe I missed something. Uh, maybe I caught something the first time that I completely missed this time because I was enjoying myself so much. Uh, it has been well over a decade since I read the book. I think I read it around the time it first came out. I actually got it at the library because I didn't want to buy it. Because uh, I read the inside. He says, hey, I want to catch you while you still have your store slip. I remember that much. Uh, let's see here. Let me go ahead and read this real real, real quick section. Uh, Dear Constant Reader, this is a Trump novel, okay? I want you to know that while you still got your sales slip. And me knowing what a Trump novel is uh, in the Stephen King universe, uh, I definitely don't want to buy it. So I believe that I read it as a, uh, as a library borrow first. And then I ended up buying it somewhere down the road, and to, I, I still have a first edition, and then I have this ratty paperback. If, uh, if you watch the live streams, I was talking about how uh, this one has chocolate fingerprints in it. And of course, now that I've mentioned that, I can't find a single one of them. And I know for a fact that it was here, it was here, I don't know. Okay, maybe this is it. Maybe, no? No? Well, I don't even know if you can see it. You see that? Yeah, you can see it. That stuff, and someone was like, bruh, that's doo-doo. <laughs> no, it's not doo-doo. It's, uh, it smells like chocolate. So, yeah, there's chocolate fingerprints throughout, um, which is, which is nasty, because <laughs> now I got somebody's chocolate fingerprints all through my book, but this is a, uh, this is my reader's copy. I'll, I'll never get rid of it. Um, it, I even did the writing just to go ahead and upset some people. I wrote all in the book, too. Ooh, what is he doing? But, yeah, um, so, did you like Blaze? If so, let me know. Especially if you didn't like Blaze, please tell me why. Uh, be respectful. 
of course, down there, um, they'll be like, oh, yeah, I love, I hated the book, you fat ass, you know, that kind of thing is what I mean by disrespectful. I don't mind you going, this fucking book sucked, or this fucking book was great. I don't, I don't mind those kind of things. Um, but, uh, or call, calling, you know, me or other people idiots for enjoying the book or, or whatever. Just let me know why you didn't like it. Go into detail. Uh, this is a spoiler discussion video, so if people go down in the, into the doobly-doo and get spoiled, that's their fault, not yours. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been another spoiler discussion video. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!